Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Shavario, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Thank you for joining us. My audience is very excited about you and what you've been able to do. We're going to talk about East Los High now in its fourth season. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's exciting. Tell me, what made, what made it stand out on Hulu? Because Hulu, it's, it's one of the highest rated shows on Hulu. Uh... You know, our show, uh, the, 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 the issues that we deal with, um, the true to life issues that we deal with is uh, probably one of the, the biggest things of the success of the show. You know, our fans are insane, you know, and it's very relatable, the, uh, the situations that these characters find themselves in. And uh, it's amazing to be a part of that, that journey. It is. Is it because, um, also, too, uh, I think your audience has comprised a lot of millennials, according to the statistics that I was looking at. And, you know, that's, this is, seems to be resonating as the larger group for them. Yeah, yeah. You know, every, every summer, you know, we just get bigger and bigger, you know. So uh, it's a great thing that, that our fans and our audience are, are tuning in every single summer and watching because uh you know like i said the show the show is great and uh everything about it is is amazing you know and not not just obviously the the relatable issues that they deal with but also the the entertainment part of it you know we have our our bomb squad dancers that are freaking amazing you know they they pull off these amazing dance numbers throughout the the show and the seasons and uh it's fun to watch you know well i think you guys are filling a niche you know you know, since Glee went off the air, we haven't had any good dancing, and you guys came in and <laughs> kind of filled that niche, so that's a great thing right there. But your Absolutely. character is Jacob. You know, they say he's the guy next door who strives to do the right thing, but you get caught up in some conflict. Are you showing how t uh, how young people are living today? Is that a part of it? Yeah, you know, uh, of course, you know, Jacob is a character that uh, we're used to seeing him you know, doing all the right things. And, but just like every, he's just like everyone else, you know, everybody makes mistakes. No one's perfect. And uh, this past, this fourth season, you will see him make some, some, some choices that are probably not the best. And with those choices come some heavy consequences. So, and, you know, and like I said, just like everyone else, you know, we all make mistakes. Your character, Jacob, I'm, I'm sure, and I'll ask this question now, We'll see the, will we see the issues of today that young people are facing? Because there's so many issues for them to, to play into your character. Yeah, you know, uh, like I said, there's, there's so many things that happen in every day. You know, we go through, you know, different things, you know, uh, like uh, dealing with uh, teen pregnancy, you know, sexuality, identification, uh, um, domestic abuse, you know, domestic violence, and even the immigration issues as well. So everything that we touch on is is what happens, you know, and what what, what especially you know, and in, uh, in 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 L.A. for example, you know. So it's it's great, you know, it's a good thing. It is a good thing, and it's a good thing to have you on there. You know, I remember you back from a long time ago, but anyway, you're not that old. <laughs> but they say you accidentally got discovered. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, that is very true. You know, I was uh, 
I was at a I was at a park playing basketball and um, we had a team meeting that day with my brothers. We put together a team and uh, no one showed up. I was going to leave the gym and then my brother ends up coming out of a room with a casting director and she saw me and she you know, she was like, he's perfect. You know, he's perfect for to audition for this. And, you know, she broke it down for me. She gave me all the details and I didn't even want to do it. <laughs> I was just like, I didn't think it was real. You know, I thought it was one of those scams kind of thing. And uh, my brother was, for like 10 minutes was trying to convince me to audition. So he finally convinced me and I auditioned for it and uh, for the role. And then that was that, you know, and then week, two weeks later, uh, they called us both back. Again, my brother's thinking that we, we booked the job already. And uh, I'm still thinking like, this isn't even real. Like it's fake. Like, so anyways, we go to the callback and then there were other actors and, uh, and uh, TV people that were, uh, that were auditioning for the other roles in the film. And that's when I realized, I was like, oh damn, this is a legit thing. So, and then, you know, I went through the through the process, uh, the callback, and then I read, uh, had a third callback, read for the director, Richard Lugravenese, and then I had a fourth callback, and then uh, uh, a mix and match session with some of the other students, potential roles in the film. And then, um, and then that was that, you know? They were like, all right, for those of you who are new to this, this is how it works, and if you don't get called again, good luck. <laughs> So then four weeks went by, I completely forgot about the entire thing. And then uh, Margie Simpkins called me and she said, hey, Gabe, we want to offer you the role of Tito. And that's when I was like, wow, unreal, unreal. <laughs> yeah, Destiny was calling you, Gabe Serrero, we think you're unreal. You're a great actor. We foresee great things for you. And when did you new Hulu series? When can we, can we see it now for the fourth season? Can we see it now? Absolutely. So right now you can binge watch um, seasons one through three, of course, and season four, of course, also just dropped July 15th. So you can see all four seasons right now on your phone, on your iPad, your laptop, wherever you can, you can watch it. All right. I see I got something to do this weekend. I can't think <laughs> anything better than welcome Gabe Shavaro. All right, because he's taking Hollywood by storm. Gabe, thanks for stopping by the Valdivia show. I wish you all the best of luck. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You have a good one. Thank you.